First of all, <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> So, what's up mga herb? Uh, so, for today's vlog, <coughs> we're gonna talk about a smartphone that's only uh, what we call limited here in Japan. It's only produced here in Japan by a Chinese company well known. The brand that keeps on releasing some smartphones that's very cheap and good for performance. Speaking about cameras and some gaming phone, so let's start for today. We're gonna unbox the two. Of Orino 3A. This phone is only limited in Japan and it's released last June 16, 2020. So, what I have here is one of Orino 3A black and one of Orino 3A white. They have the same specs, they have 6 gig of RAM, 1 to 8 gig of ROM so let's check it out but first I'm gonna need the unboxing knife this one yeah <laughs> what color do you want to open first what color do you want to see we try the black one and then afterwards the white one let's see by the way, the spawn <laughs> they not they are not what we call they are not sponsored by anyone. Let's see. I'm sorry, it's my first video for the unboxing and on the tech side we always make we just about BMX and traveling here in Japan. So here nothing. <laughs> oh here we have the sim ejector thing and then the manual. But the thing is it's all Nihongo. So it's all Japanese language yeah <laughs> and it has a pre jelly case it's very good and of course the unit so let's put this aside oh and then the charger standard charger And a type C connector. It's very good. It's fast. And what I have noticed about Oppo, most of the brand now they don't have what we call the earphones. They don't have the free earphones, but for Oppo they have. So it's a plus points. <laughs> Let's see. It's one. It's one. It's one. And then we're gonna open. Oh, let's put this back first. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. Let's open it. The white one. Yeah. You. By the way, Happy New Year. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the white one. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> the 
same with the first one the manual the sim ejector pin and the jelly case so put this aside and then the main unit oh I like the color of this one it's a white faded into purple and blue nice yeah let's check it again charger type C connector and earphone so let's check the unit what color did you prepare to test first maybe the black oh the black one let's open it the sounds is the best yeah oh <laughs> it's a good phone the good thing about this it has a 3.5 jack most of the new phone now they don't have this one so you need to use a bluetooth earphone and by the way this phone let's open this white one whoa I like this color <laughs> and by the way this phone is a waterproof and dustproof function and compatible with Osaifu Keitai that Osaifu Keitai is you can use it in Japan for example you have a Suica card Pasmo you have to download install their application and then when paying for for example on the bus or convenience store or supermarket you'll just have to tap it and then wow it's already paid yeah let's open this up <laughs> oh yeah and then the black one this phone has a IPX or what I mean IP6X means that the product has a function to prevent dust and from entering inside when the product is put in a, what we call in a device containing dust or in a place with a diameter of what we call that ah, I forgot it I'm sorry <laughs> yeah so this is our brand new phone so let's set up it for we're here in Japan but I will use the United States ta -ta. I agree I agree next and the same one ta -ta. next so we have to connect to our Wi-Fi So here we are. Next. Next. Checking for updates and this one. I love the color of this white one. It's elegant and this one is for the girls. <laughs> Don't copy. <laughs> Don't copy. <laughs> and by the way, you have to skip this one. Skip. This has an IPX8 rating too. 
So, it means that when a mobile phone is submerged in tap water at a depth of 1.5 meters at room temperature, so later, skip, next, later, Seb. color OS, later, so, if you submerge spoon in top water for the water devil 1.5 meters at a room temperature and then you left for about 30 minutes and then you can take it out normally it will function as normal so yeah oh Some of it had pre-installed application, mostly for Japan, because it's an exclusive phone for Japan. And for the camera, we'll try about the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the camera have a main shooter. It has a 48 megapixel camera. Yeah, 48 megapixel camera. And a 8 megapixel wide angle lens. That's a fourth ultra wide angle 119 degrees. A 2 megapixel lens that supports monochrome shooting and 200 that supports retro portrait shooting. So. Uh, the camera is good Yeah, and in the front facing camera Yo <laughs> It has 16 megapixel so And it has a AI beauty function it supports and it supports facial recognition and facial correction <laughs> And it has a what we call this one Oppo Reno 3 Ace Ultra Night Modes. Oh. The video, let's see settings and then video resolution. It has a 4K 1080p 30 frame per second 720p. <laughs> It's the best yeah this phone's very good right so about the battery it has a 425 milliamp battery and it supports quick charge 2.0 for a large capacity so well the battery is good so you don't have to worry about running out battery even if you use it all day long the charging functions is also compatible with quick charge 2.0 and it's a type C the quick charge 2.0 which is a quick charge so you can charge 45% in about 30 minutes and fully charged in about 2 hours yeah it's a 2 hours yes it's the best let's check about the black one <laughs> By the way, the screen has a 1080 resolution and it's a AMOLED display. So, and maybe you notice it doesn't have a fingerprint scanner in the back or in the side. So, maybe you guess it already. It's a in under display fingerprint scanner by the way the size of this screen it's a 6.44 inch organic EL water drop type notch screen yeah what can you ask for and what we have this one let's try 
and by the way the processor of the phone it's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 with the 6 gig RAM 1 to 8 gig ROM yeah and can be expanded up to 256 gig let's see let's check it let's open the sim tray of press it maybe yeah let's open the sim tray let's see <laughs> yeah it's on the right side in the power button pop <laughs> It's a what we call single SIM phone, and so that that's a dedicated slot for micro SD. Yeah, the maximum is two fifty six gig, so it plays right here at the right part, upper part of the power button. yeah and the type-c connector it supports what we call type-c USB C on the go on the go for example you have the USB then you can plug it here transfer some videos photos or music yeah by the way the only color available for this phone it's only have two colors and these are the colors the black and the white and the length of this phone it's a 160.9 mm and the width is 74.1 mm thickness is the thickness is 8.2 mm and the weight it's very light it's only 175 grams yes and the os is what we seen before it's a color os 7.1 based on android 10 it's a good phone and so what we call chip one <laughs> yeah it's an organic el amoled so this phone sadly this this phone doesn't support 5G connection but it supports 2G, 4G, 3G and then on the Bluetooth it has a Bluetooth 5.0 and a Wi-Fi connection 2.4 and 5 gigahertz it has a NFC compatible Felica compatible so the sensors are Magnetic sensor, proximity sensor, optical sensor, accelerometer, and gyro sensor. Yes. So what you gonna have and what you gonna get when you bought one inside the box? It has a AC adapter, of course the charger, USB Type C, and then the earphone that we've seen before. Of course, the jelly case, jelly case, the quick guide and the safety guide. So what else we can say about this phone? So the product ID is what we see here. The model is A0020P and then the product ID is CPH2013. So let's try. Maybe we'll check on the YouTube. Let's see. And see, yes. Let's test. Let's test the sound. Why, 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 why?
Oh, there are many good songs here. <laughs> it's one, strange one. <laughs> we have the ads. It makes the video slow. Oh, it has a loudspeaker. Let's try. It's very good. Yeah. And you see the brightness? It's very bright. I see it. It's good. <laughs> So let's talk about the price. The price for this phone here in Japan now. But the thing is, most of them they only release this one for the network company. For example, why Mobile, SoftBank, and other companies. But on the outside, on the outside they sell it for about. Nimang Nimang Hat Sing or Nimang Rock Sing. It's a two hundred eighty thousand yen. No, yeah, it's a two hundred eighty thousand yen to two hundred sixty thousand yen. For dollars, maybe it's a three hundred dollars, and in the Philippine peso, it costs. I know they sell it for 17,000 but if you convert it it's much cheaper here yeah so that's for today for our blog and then thank you for watching on our next video we will unbox this one the JBL Everest 310 GA so check it out so thank you for watching guys don't forget don't forget to like share and subscribe peace out